The speed of light. It's a phrase that echoes through the halls of science fiction and the minds of dreamers, capturing the imagination of anyone who has ever looked up at the stars and wondered about the mysteries of the universe. 186,282 miles per second. A speed so fast it boggles the mind, transcending our everyday experiences and pushing the boundaries of what we believe is possible. But this isn't just some arbitrary number plucked from the ether. It's a fundamental constant, a cosmic speed limit woven into the very fabric of our universe, dictating how fast information and matter can travel. Imagine a beam of light, a stream of photons zipping across the cosmos at this incredible speed. Now imagine trying to catch up to it, racing through the vast expanse of space. No matter how fast you go, how powerful your engines, that beam of light will always be ahead, always traveling at 186,282 miles per second faster, an unattainable goal. It's the ultimate tease, the universe's way of saying, not so fast, a reminder of the limits imposed by the laws of physics. But why is the speed of light so special? What makes it the ultimate speed limit in our universe? Why is it the ultimate speed limit, the barrier that nothing can surpass? The answer lies in the bizarre and wonderful world of Einstein's theory of special relativity, a groundbreaking framework that reshaped our understanding of space and time. Special relativity tells us that space and time are not absolute, but rather are intertwined in a four-dimensional fabric called space-time, where distances and durations can stretch and contract. And the speed of light is the ultimate constant in this cosmic dance, the one thing that remains the same for all observers, regardless of their relative motion, anchoring our understanding of the universe. Now, let's say we have a spacecraft, a marvel of engineering capable of incredible speeds. As we push this spacecraft faster and faster, something strange happens. Its mass starts to increase. At everyday speeds, this increase in mass is negligible. But as we approach the speed of light, the effect becomes dramatic. Our spacecraft becomes heavier and heavier and heavier still, requiring more and more energy to accelerate. This is another consequence of special relativity. As an object approaches the speed of light, its energy is converted into mass. The faster it goes, the more massive it becomes, and the more energy it takes to accelerate it further. So, we've hit a snag in our quest to conquer the speed of light. Our spacecraft is getting heavier, requiring more and more energy to accelerate. But how much energy are we talking about? The answer is a lot. An unimaginable amount, in fact. To accelerate even a small spacecraft to the speed of light would require more energy than is available in the entire observable universe. It's a humbling thought, a cosmic reality check. But let's say, for argument's sake, that we could somehow harness this unimaginable amount of energy. What then? Would our spacecraft simply zip off at the speed of light, leaving the universe in its dust? Not so fast. Space may seem like a vast, empty void, but it's actually teeming with microscopic particles of dust and gas. At everyday speeds, these particles are harmless, but at the speed of light, they become deadly projectiles. Imagine our spacecraft, traveling at the speed of light, colliding with a tiny speck of dust. The energy released in that collision would be catastrophic, instantly vaporizing our spacecraft and everything in it. And it's not just interstellar dust we have to worry about. There are also larger objects like asteroids, comets, and even rogue planets, any one of which could spell disaster for our lightspeed vessel. Now, let's delve into the truly mind-bending implications of traveling at the speed of light, time dilation. This concept is one of the most fascinating aspects of Einstein's theory of relativity. According to special relativity, time is not absolute, but is relative to the observer's frame of reference. This means that time can flow at different rates depending on how fast you are moving. As an object approaches the speed of light, 
time slows down for that object relative to a stationary observer. This phenomenon is known as time dilation and has been confirmed by numerous experiments. This means that if you were to travel at the speed of light, time would essentially stop for you. You would be moving so fast that time, as you experience it, would come to a standstill. You would experience no passage of time, while eons could pass for the rest of the universe. This creates a stark contrast between your experience and that of those who remain stationary. This leads to some fascinating paradoxes. The implications of time dilation challenge our conventional understanding of time and space. For example, if you could travel to a distant star system at the speed of light and then return to Earth, you might find that thousands of years had passed on Earth, while you had only aged a few years. This is often referred to as the twin paradox, highlighting the strange and counterintuitive nature of time at relativistic speeds. Section 6. The Unknown Unknowns – Unforeseen Consequences We've explored some of the potential dangers and paradoxes of traveling at the speed of light, but the truth is, we're just scratching the surface. The universe is a vast and mysterious place, and our current understanding of physics is far from complete. There could be unforeseen consequences of traveling at the speed of light that we can't even begin to imagine. Perhaps the fabric of space-time itself would unravel, or maybe we would be transported to another dimension entirely. The possibilities are both exhilarating and terrifying. Section 7. So, can we break the cosmic speed limit? Given all the challenges and potential dangers, is traveling at the speed of light even possible? The short answer is, probably not. At least, not with our current understanding of physics. Einstein's theory of special relativity seems to put an insurmountable barrier in front of us. But who knows what the future holds? Perhaps one day, we will discover new physics, new technologies that will allow us to circumvent the cosmic speed limit. Until then, the speed of light remains the ultimate cosmic tease, a tantalizing reminder of the vastness and mystery of the universe we inhabit. Section 8. The Universe's Grand Design. Our Place in the Cosmos. The speed of light is not just a physical constant. It's a fundamental aspect of the universe's grand design, a key ingredient in the cosmic recipe that makes life as we know it possible. Think about it. The speed of light determines the rate at which stars burn, galaxies evolve, and information travels throughout the cosmos. It shapes our understanding of time, distance, and the very nature of reality. Our inability to travel at the speed of light is not a limitation, but rather a reflection of our place in the grand scheme of things. We are but one species on one planet, bound by the laws of physics that govern our universe. This cosmic speed limit ensures that we remain humble, constantly striving to understand the mysteries that lie beyond our reach. It reminds us that while we may be small, our curiosity and drive to explore are boundless. The speed of light, in essence, is a bridge between the known and the unknown guiding our journey through the vast expanse of the cosmos. Section 9. The Never-Ending Quest. Humanity's Pursuit of the Unknown. Despite the challenges, the human spirit yearns to explore, to push the boundaries of what's possible. The quest to understand the speed of light, and perhaps one day even conquer it, is a testament to our insatiable curiosity and our unyielding pursuit of knowledge. So, while we may never be able to travel at the speed of light, the very act of seeking that knowledge, of unraveling the mysteries of the universe, is what makes us human. And who knows what wonders we may uncover along the way. So, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and let's turn the page on a new adventure together. Get ready to experience books like never before. Only on VBook 360 like, comment, and share to support the channel and keep the video magic alive. Thank you for stopping by.
And remember, every video has a story, and every story deserves to be shared. See you in the next video.